If you're a new mom, then you need your life to be as simplified as possible. Today, I'm sharing my top 11 must-have products for new moms that will help you to do just that. These essentials will help with all aspects of being a new mom, including postpartum healing, breastfeeding, and my most used newborn items. So if you wanna see what's on my list, then don't move a muscle. Hey everyone, if you are new here, my name is Jess. I am a mom of two boys. I recently had my second baby back in September and I wanted to make a video on the products that I have used the most in my first couple weeks with a newborn. Many of them have been used with both of my kids. So I hope they can help you as much as they've helped me. So first up, we have some type of baby carrier. So this could either be in the form of a more structured carrier that looks kind of like a backpack, but you can wear it on the front of you or more of like a wrap style carrier. This really comes down to preference in my opinion and what I've seen. I know a lot of people who've loved the wrap style carriers and then people who prefer the structured carriers. I personally prefer the structured carrier. I've tried, I think like two or three different wrap style carriers and I don't know. Even when my babies are newborns, I just really like using the structured carrier. I also have bigger babies so I just feel like they were more secure and like had really good support. So this is the one I use. It is the Lily Baby Complete Airflow Carrier. It is one of the ones that's a little more expensive, but I'm telling you right now, it is totally worth the splurge because it is so supportive. And I wore my first in this, like when he was over 30 pounds. So it's definitely really strong and really supportive. It has really nice back support and really comfortable padded straps and it uses this mesh material that's really nice and breathable for baby. I get super hot all the time. So this is really nice because when you have a little baby on you, they're a little heat box. So this has really nice breathable mesh material. I think it runs for around $125 usually on Amazon, but I have seen it for sale a lot in the past. So definitely keep an eye on that. I think I actually snagged a second one and wound up using it for my husband so that we don't have to adjust the settings every time, which is really convenient. I think I grabbed that one for around like $65 or something and it's the same exact one. So you definitely keep an eye out for sales. I will leave a link to all the products I'm talking about down in the description box below, which just a full disclosure, they are affiliate links, which means if you choose to make a purchase through one of those links, I may receive a small commission at no extra cost for you. And I really appreciate it because it does help support my channel. So thank you so much if you choose to do it. But regardless of what what type of carrier you choose, definitely get one. They are awesome for keeping your hands free and getting stuff done around the house. If you have another child to take care of, I have a toddler right now, he is two and he's all over the place. So it is so good that I can wear my newborn and walk around the house and do stuff with my toddler. And a lot of times like my, the baby will sleep on me and stuff. So it's really, really comes in handy. But like I said, this one is so supportive. I think it can hold up to 40 to 45 pounds. I'm pretty sure. And you can wear it in all different ways. My second son, Nolan was born 10 one. And right now he is two and a half months and I think over 18 pounds at this point. So he is a big boy and if you have a bigger baby, you need the support, trust me. So I would definitely say it's worth the splurge on like a more comfortable structured carrier. All these items are like my ride or die items for being a new mom or having a new baby because I am using these every single day. They are definitely getting their money's worth. All right, so if you are a breastfeeding mom or if you're planning to be, listen up because this next product is seriously a lifesaver for breastfeeding moms. That is these little tiny silverette nursing cups. They are these little silver cups that actually go in your bra over your nipples when you're not nursing your baby. I wish I had heard about these for my first pregnancy. Somehow I never came across them. I had tons of issues breastfeeding with my first. I had these on hand for my second. My friend Steph told me about them. She was like, you need to get them. They are lifesavers for when you have nipple damage from breastfeeding. I said, what the heck? I'm gonna check them out. I bought them and thank God I did because I had no issues this time around. Silver has healing properties. So you just slip these on and the silver actually heals 
the damage. They started to hurt a little bit the second time around with breastfeeding in the beginning. I put these on, I was healed in like two to three days. And then I just continued to keep them on for a little while as like a preventative. They're also great because when you put them in your bra, they prevent like your clothes brushing up against your nipples and kind of like chafing them and making them hurt even more. Yeah, the glamorous life of motherhood. So these are definitely lifesavers. Highly recommend. I will link them down in the description box below, but they are totally worth it. And not having them my first time and having them my second time, I can definitely vouch for that because they saved me the second time around. All right, so this next item I debated about putting in because it definitely is a splurge and it is a super pricey item. And I normally don't like to recommend something that's really, really super pricey, but I have to mention it because it's just that good. And it is the Willow Wireless Breast Pump. Again, total game changer this time around. If you are a nursing mom or a pumping mom and you're looking for a solution that can make you more mobile, hands-free, and not tied down to a pump, this is a great option. So they do run around $500. So like I said, this is a splurge. However, I did hear that insurance covers a big chunk of it. In my opinion, it's totally worth it. Again, I use this literally every single day. I actually have a Spectra pump through insurance. I chose to get that one as well along with this because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it, but I absolutely love this. And having this with having a toddler is so nice because when I'm pumping, I'm not tied down to like a seat or something. So again, I can be walking around, being with him, doing things if you're using the bags there's only two little pieces to wash I will leave an affiliate link in the description box below so you can check them out but I use this thing every day and I have zero regrets it is worth noting that they do have wireless pumps on Amazon that I've seen that are less expensive they are definitely not as luxury as like a willow or an LV pump but you can check them out as well. I think they're closer to $100 or $130. So definitely check that out. Maybe if you just wanna have it as an option and you don't feel like spending the full $500 on like this or the LV runs at pretty much the same price, I think. I'll link to those as well that I've seen. I can't vouch for them personally because I've never used them, but I think they maybe could work, I don't know. So if you tried the wireless pumps on Amazon, let me know in the comments below if you've used them and and if you think they're worth it. So next up we have a postpartum item and that is the Freedom Mom postpartum kit. It is, in my opinion, a postpartum must have. I got the deluxe kit when I had my first son in the hospital. So that one came with a bonus of like, I think a gown and socks and maybe the Perry bottle. I absolutely am in love with the Frida company. I love every single product they put out. I just think they're so innovative, not to mention their marketing is super catchy and adorable and just really real from a mom's perspective. I just absolutely love like even their product descriptions and how they create their products. They're just like amazing. Not sponsored in any way whatsoever, but I, I just honestly like really love the Frida company. They have like the Frida baby products and the Frida mom products. So if you haven't heard of them yet, definitely check them out because they are fantastic. Anyway, the postpartum kit is definitely a must have in my opinion. I use this for both of my births. Like I said, I got the deluxe one for my first birth. And then for this one, I actually got two of the um, regular kits. There's like a deluxe one and then I don't know what they call it. Like this is just like the regular one. I think it's like $50 on Amazon, but it includes these cooling uh, witch hazel pad liners, this healing foam. This is actually um, the Frida Perry bottle, which I love. I've talked about this in some of my other videos because it's angled. So it's really nice and easy to use and definitely way better than what you're gonna get in the hospital. So I highly recommend this, but this does not come in the kit. You do have to buy this separately, worth it, get it. One of my favorites actually is the Freedom Mom underwear. I bought so many packs of these because they are so comfortable and they're way better than the mesh underwear that you get in the hospital that just like fall apart. So these are great. They're disposable underwear. They are really, really stretchy. So they can fit a lot of different sizes. They're just like super durable for being disposable underwear and they hold everything in really nicely. They're a boy short style instead of like the, you know, diaper looking granny panty things that you're getting from the hospital. So 
I love these and you can buy these separately as well. As you can see, I have leftovers, so I didn't need them all this time, but I did buy extra. These are ice packs and pads put in one. So these are really nice and they stayed cooler way longer than the ones that I had in the hospital. So you just like fold the pack in half and you'll hear this pop and then you shake it up and it gets cold. It's awesome. So I do have some of these left over as well. Like I said, I did get two kits this time because I had one in my downstairs bathroom and one in my upstairs bathroom. No regrets on that either. These do run for about $50, but like I said, in my opinion, it's a postpartum must have. It's way nicer than the stuff that you're getting at the hospital. And for this birth, I don't know if it was like because of COVID or um, because it wasn't my first birth, but like they didn't load me up as much at the hospital as they did the first time. So like the first time they sent me home with a ton of postpartum stuff, this time they didn't really give me a lot. So it was really good that I have this because you want that stuff on hand for when you're coming home. If you're not sure, because I've seen a lot of people um, were upset because they had bought these and then they wind up having a C-section or something. My recommendation is to buy it from Amazon and then don't open it until after you have the baby. Um, but have it at home, have it ready to go. If you wind up having a C-section, you could just return your unopened box. So I think that's the way to go. I just think like it's totally worth it. And it comes with this little caddy as well. So you can have everything um, nice and organized in your bathroom. Next up, we have the Hatch Rest or the Hatch Rest Plus sound machines. These things are hands down the best sound machines that you're gonna find. So it's a nightlight and a noise machine or sound machine in one, which is really convenient. Comes with an app so you can control everything through your phone, which I love. There are tons of different sound and color combinations. So I used to have the regular Hatch Rest and then I actually upgraded because now they have the Hatch Rest Plus. The Rest Plus does have a few more features than the regular Rest, such as like a digital clock on it. It has an audio monitor, which I don't need because I have a video monitor. And then the biggest selling point for me was that it has battery backup. So if your power goes out at night or something happens, it's backed up and it makes it more portable, which is nice if you don't have access to a plug for some reason. We have had instances where the power will go out and then the noise machine turns off and obviously baby wakes up from that. So to try and avoid that as much as possible, I did decide to upgrade to the Rest Plus and I am so happy I did. Next up, we have either Swaddle Sacks or the Love to Dream Swaddle. I keep coming back to this. It's my absolute favorite swaddle sack for your child. So with my first son, he absolutely hated having his arms swaddled down, hated it. He would always like nap and stuff with his arms up like this by his head. And actually when I was doing more research, I found out that that's how babies naturally like to sleep with their arms by their head. So this swaddle allows them to do that while still keeping them secure and suppressing that Moro reflex, which is the startle reflex that they have when they're newborns. I absolutely love this. I think I tried it when my second son first came home and he didn't seem to be that much of a fan. So I had him in those swaddle sacks, which are also great. You can find them like all over Amazon. I'll link some down in the description box that we had, but they're great because you just stick them in and then it's just two little Velcros and they're nice and swaddled and tucked in there rather than actually swaddling with a blanket because who wants to do that at 3 a.m. when you're changing a diaper, or try and figure out how to swaddle with a blanket. You want it to be as quick and as painless as possible. So either go for a swaddle sack. If you find out that your child does not like to have their arms swaddled down, the love to dream swaddle. I actually have it right here. I don't know why I'm not holding it up. So the love to dream swaddle is definitely the way to go. It has a two way zipper, which I love because for diaper changes in the middle of the night, zip it up and change their diaper. It's so nice. So this is actually a transitional one before you would move them to a sleep sack, which has to happen at either eight weeks or when they show signs of rolling over, whichever one comes first but you're supposed to move them out of a swaddle by eight weeks. And a swaddle doesn't just mean their arms, it means anything that restricts them in their torso. So this is very tight around their torso. So it's no longer safe for them once they are eight weeks old or showing the ability to roll over whatever comes first. They should not be in this anymore, any type of swaddle. So anything that's tight around their torso, they should be moved to a sleep sack or a wearable blanket. But this transitional one actually has these little wings that can zip off so you can get them used to. So you can do it like with one arm out first 
and then do the other one so it gets used to not having their arms like pinned down or anything to make the transition to a sleep sack a little easier. My next new mom must have is a bouncy seat or a swing or basically just somewhere to put your baby down. You need a break every once in a while. You can't hold these babies all the time as much as you may want to, right? So definitely somewhere to put your baby down and have them kind of like hang out and lounge under your supervision, of course. Both of my sons absolutely loved my Graco swing. I love it as well. It does take up a lot of space, but in my opinion, totally worth it. The one that we have actually can go from side to side or front to back, which is really nice plays music and has sounds. When it comes to bouncer seats, I just have two of the Fisher Price like bouncy seats. They're super affordable on Amazon. I think they're like 25, maybe $25 usually. I have one upstairs and one downstairs. So super simple. It just like bounces a little bit. It has some toys that they can hit and they like spin around on the little arch in front of them, which is really nice. Those are like my go-tos for when I have to do something and just throw the baby somewhere. They're nice and light so I can just pick them up and move them from room to room, which is really cool. Whether you're planning on nursing or formula feeding, however you're gonna feed your baby, I think everyone should have a bobby because there are multiple uses for them. I can't speak to other nursing pillows. I've only used a boppy, but I absolutely love it. And I use them for basically as long as I'm breastfeeding because I have big babies, so I need the support. Like I said, right now, my son's like 18 plus pounds at two and a half months old. I can't sit there and like hold him up all the time while I'm feeding him. I also love it for when I give him a bottle too, which is really nice because I'll kind of like prop him in it and it just gives like a little extra support. But another thing I love about boppy is you can also use them for lounging or tummy time activities once your baby gets older. So we used to use this as a tummy time support for my son Luke when he was a little older. And then right now Nolan's just getting to the point where um, we can kind of like lay him in it to support his neck and then he can just chill there for a few minutes, like on the floor or something if we're playing with him too. My next new mom must have that is such a lifesaver, I'm telling you, is some kind of baby tracking app. So they have a ton of free ones. I have always used the Glow Baby app, that's my favorite. It is free, they do have a premium version, but nothing in the premium version honestly is like, in my opinion, worth paying for. So the free version is completely fine but it allows you to track things like their diapers, feedings, sleep, pumping. You will forget everything. Trust me, like everything. As a new parent, your mind is all over the place. With the Glow Baby app, you can add like a partner or a caregiver on there so they can track too, as long as they download the app and you can link it up. So like if my husband's taking care of the baby, he'll track and then I can see like when he was last fed or when he needs to go to sleep or something like that. So it's really nice just to keep track of all your information. It's also really cool to have because like sometimes I'll go back in the app and I'll look at my data from Luke, my first son, and I'll see like, ooh, when he was Nolan's age, like how long was he sleeping? And it's just nice because that data is like stored in there. So you can go back and look at things that you wouldn't remember otherwise unless you wrote them down or something. So this is kind of another postpartum item and it's one of my favorites and that is the Belly Bandit Luxe Belly Wrap. It is literally amazing. I think it was the next morning I put this on and it literally felt better to have it on than to have it off. It is so comfortable. Basically for nine months, your body is, there's so much construction going on in there and your organs literally get all shifted and moved out of place during those nine months. So after you have the baby, everything's just kind of like floating around in there for lack of a better way to put it. But that's what's happening. So a belly wrap helps to kind of contain everything and make you feel better. Like I said, my son was 10-1 when he was born. He was huge. So I felt a whole lot of emptiness in there. This helped to kind of like tighten me back up and really helped like everything in my torso to feel a lot better, tight and not in pain. This is a little bit of a splurge, but belly banded, I had one for my first birth and I had the original, which I think runs around $50, and it was good and I liked it, but it was not nearly as comfortable as this one that I got. This is a newer wrap, the Luxe wrap. This one I think is 100, and I think you can get a discount by like signing up for their email list or something. I got some sort of discount. I am literally still wearing it, so I still wear it under my clothes. I'm almost 11 weeks postpartum. 
even though I technically don't need it probably at this point. I mean, some people say up to eight weeks, some people say 10, 12, I mean, like however long really you want. I just wear it because like it kind of feels good now and kind of like holds me in and helps my posture stay straight. I highly recommend some sort of belly wrap, but this one is so comfortable. And like I said, felt better on than it did off. Definitely check that one out. Again, I will link down in the description box to them as well. So before I go into my next product, I just wanna give a little disclaimer. I am not a doctor or medical professional, so please speak with your doctor before taking any kind of supplement, especially if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. But one thing that I absolutely swear by that I take every single day that has helped me immensely as a breastfeeding mom is called sunflower lecithin, I think is how you pronounce it. So what it is said to do is help prevent clogged ducts when you're breastfeeding. So it works to like thin the milk or something. When I have a clogged duct, I will take a couple extra of these and it will clear it out. So like I said, it's worked for me. I can only speak from experience. I can't recommend that you take something. I'm just sharing what has worked for me. But if you would like to try this, definitely speak with your doctor and get the okay. I do take this for the duration of breastfeeding. I took it with my first after I had mastitis for the first time, that was not fun. So I take two pills a day and then if I feel like I'm getting a clog somewhere, I will just take like an extra one and usually it helps clear it out, which is great. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you use any of these products already, please let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any other suggestions for new moms that can make their lives easier. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos for your parenting journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.